John 5.44 Pos dunaste humes pistusai. Doxon para alelon lambanantes, kai tain doxon tain para tu manu theu u zetete. Here Jesus continues speaking to the hostile Jewish religious leaders. He says, How are you all able? Oh, and that's a verb, just asking, just wanting, just wishing to be completed with a complementary infinitive, right? Until we have that infinitive, the idea is hanging in the air. How are you, how are you all able, hanging, hanging, how are you all able to believe, right? And that's just an aorist active infinitive. How are you able to believe? And then we have this participle, lambanatas, receiving, right? It's nominative plural because it's describing the nominative plural, you all, receiving glory or honor from one another. So super literal, how are you all able to believe receiving glory from one another? And most English translations uh, feel the need, I think, rightly to add in a, a word here to introduce this adverbial participle, lambanantes. And you can see some make it conditional, some make it temporal, some make it causal, and perhaps the original uh, understanding or nuance of a, of a first century listener would have been an overlap somewhat of these, right? If, how, how are you all able to believe uh, if or when uh, you're receiving honor from one another? And continuing the question here, and you are not seeking uzetete, right? That's a second person plural. The reason the ending is a little bit odd there is that's a contract verb, right? Ze Teo, right? Because the last letter of the stem M is an epsilon. When we have our regular et ending, those combine to be A, right? You and you all are not seeking the glory or the honor from the only God, right? The glory or honor from the only God. Notice how this article here, Tain, right, Tain is put in front of that prepositional phrase, para tu manu theu, and it basically turns it into a gigantic adjective, right? What kind of glory? You know, the good glory, the holy glory, the from the only God glory, right? That article, uh, again, turns that into a big adjective that, uh, and it tells us it's a feminine accusative singular adjective to match the feminine accusative singular noun that it's modifying.